All right, we're here in the backyard. We're going to review my first aid kit and rescue barrel. So I've only just become aware of the fact that according to New Transport Canada regulations back in 2013, I think it was, uh, even scout troops are considered a commercial provider of adventure outdoors, blah, blah, whatever. I can't remember the designation. But we have to follow the same first aid kit regulations as the commercial providers, which means this is no longer going to be big enough for me. I have another video that shows you what I put in here. Uh, I bought these Pelican cases are really expensive. Princess Auto sells very similar models that look to be almost a copycat design in every detail for like a third of the price or something like that. So I've got a much bigger one for the new kit. I'm going to spray paint it red and I'm also going to take this is my rescue barrel I learned this from the scout leaders that I uh, learned everything from and basically I'm going to paint it red finally uh, everything so I've got this is a hot core sleeping bag it's a really really good sleeping bag very compact everything you need to start a fire and ideally I don't have it in here right now but normally for like a tour or something I would also have a small first aid kit in here, um, smaller than this one. And then everyone knows, you tell them all, this is your emergency barrel. Everyone knows which canoe it's in at all times. It'll be easier to track once I, whoops, once I paint it red. So that's part of what I'm up to right now. I'm going to give it a clean first with some Windex. All right, so I'm going to do another shot here. The rescue barrel, this isn't part of it. This is me cleaning it up. I just thought of the idea, I'm going to put a thing of methyl hydrate in there, that'll help get any fire going. So, and then I've got basically wood pellets, uh, a lot of people put kindling in there, I don't have kindling, so kindling's probably better than wood pellets, but that's okay, especially with the methyl hydrate, uh, which is burning alcohol, and then matches, i got a full box of matches, not even opened. I've got a really good, this is a compact, hot core sleeping bags are... Uh, very compact. They're similar. Well, not really similar to fleece. No, they're not, but it's some kind of high-tech fill in them They're really really warm and basically that's it. This is a half size barrel 30 liter um, And I'm about to paint the thing um, Red so you'll distinguish it as the rescue barrel Hmm note to self if you have a phone with a fingerprint unlock don't get paint on your fingertip. Luckily I have uh, multiple fingers scanned. So it's a pretty crappy paint job. It's dripping everywhere. I don't care. This isn't going to be a, you know, a work of art hanging in some gallery or whatever. Hope I got enough paint left to paint this case. I'm just going to give it a little spray with the Windex first. I clean that all up with Windex first. Um, it's good enough. You're supposed to do whatever, some special thing if you're painting, but this is going to be just fine for the what I need there and now this one's got to be red as well because that's going to be a first aid kit. Well there's what I used. Um, you, obviously you don't need rust paint on this but it's just a good hardy, uh, that's what guys paint their canoes with and stuff. It's known to stand up to the weather basically. Uh, so there was plenty to put even a second coat. I got this all painted and I got most of a second coat on here except oh I missed the part of the lid I see all together. There is some more left so And we've gotten a few raindrops as you can see. That's an old beater that I got off Kijiji for free. Needs major repair. It's for the scout troop if I ever do get it fixed. Uh, that's it. So there's my rescue barrel. You already have a video with the contents I believe of my my real first aid kit. This is going to be the new first aid kit that's fully Transport Canada compliant. And away we go.